Hi, my name is Juan Pantoja. I'm a professional makeup artist in the Central Florida area. Today we're going to be talking about how to apply pirate makeup to a woman. Um, it's a very simple makeup. It's very clean, not a lot of color. It's a little bit more muddy, less uh, polished makeup. And we're going to keep it real. Taking from the success of the last pirate movies, um, we're going to start with a bottom liner. And I'm going to keep it on the outside just to get that raw, uh, dark under eye liner. It's real dark and faded, so I'm applying it with a brush even though it's a pencil. And instead of brushing it on, I'm kind of like stippling it in. Um, that way making it stay on better. And the other main feature will be a bronzy skin. You don't want to have a pirate look and be looking like a pirate ghost. So bronze the skin real well, get a nice bronze applied around the cheekbones, on the apple of the cheek, on the bridge of the nose. Here, everywhere you think, if you're standing underneath the sun, that the sun will hit you, that's where you want to put a lot of bronzer. Because we're not going to add a lot of blush to it, so our blush is going to be a nice sun-kissed color. Then I already started adding like a natural beige color on the eyelid. Um, gonna go with a darker brown around it. Still nicely blended, not a lot of definition there. Nothing too defined, everything is gonna be very nicely blended. In this case, I'm steering away from the more glamorous makeup, the, like the V-shape type of color. I'm gonna get more like a half and half tone Just to make it a little bit more organic when she opens her eyes. And create a deeper look on the eyes, like a deeper deeper set eyes. And for this type of makeup, we need to shape the brows real nice. So that's my next step right here. Using an eyeshadow to shape the brows. And Kind of like a caramel color, which is blonde. I don't want to use anything too dark. It's going to make them look artificial. So a nice caramel color will create a nice shadow, a natural shadow to make them look a little bit fuller, just to give some definition. So for the lips, I'm going to be using a, a pure red lip pencil, which is going to give me a nice definition on the lips. And what I'm doing, instead of using a lipstick, I'm going to just use this lip pencil. Pencils are good because they tend to stay on better than lipsticks and lip glosses. So, it's a nice way of achieving nice bold color. Our main focus here is going to be on getting a bronzy skin finish on the skin. Nice bronze all over the skin. We don't want anything too pale. And bottom liner, very defined. And bronzing, bronzing, bronzing. Those are the two main features, the liner and the bronzing powder. On that lips, you can go a little bit neutral or you can go bolder with it, uh, but keeping a more bronzy finish on the skin. A Little bit muddy, you don't have to be very defined or you can be very glamorous and just sculpt the eyes a little bit better or take a little bit more time doing the eyes. So that's a higher makeup for women. My name is Juan Pantoja. I'm a professional makeup artist in Central Florida.